went into a paddock. I don't want to do it. Oh. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here, and I'm now coming to Crew Hill, yes! We're going out for a little ride today. We're going to a pub with the Berry St Edmunds crew. It's a new place they've picked out for next spring to start off their meetings every week, and uh, we said we'd all go over with them today and suss the place out, as they say. Yes, yeah, suss it out. So, we're now going to meet up. And meet up uh, with the Suffolk, uh, with the Barry St Edmunds crew. Job done. Oh, there's a few of us. Yeah, there's a few of us going to go over. I don't know what time we're leaving here. What time are we leaving here, Aaron? Okay. So there's a few. I can see young Weggy over there. Yeah, Indiana Jones of the uh, Suffolk crew. Go, on, mate. Right. I think we're now getting ready to go. Here we're going to. Coxfield. Yes, Coxfield. I don't know where they're going. Yes, I've no idea where that is. It's the other side of Berry. Like I said earlier, it's all to do with the uh, with the uh, Berry St Edmunds crew. See their new meeting place for next spring. So. A couple of things to mention. Me and Amy haven't forgot the conspiracy video they are going to make. We will do it, there's no doubt about it. And uh, we're going to do another sort of explore an old church or something like we did at Borley. Uh, we really did enjoy making that little vlog. Not everybody's cuttle of fish, but you know, I don't make my videos just to. Uh, to please everybody, but uh, not to please everybody, but uh, I know some people like that, and I'm quite prepared to make a, a vlog that is not so popular, but uh, but some people will enjoy. So that's the way I look at it, you know. Oh, Bury St Edmunds. Rattleston, wall pit. A couple of little projects I want to do. Ooh, a bit of a funny bit of road. Yeah, one or two projects I want to look into. I'm going to, uh, well, I'm thinking about doing a vlog where I'll pick a piece of road out for about a mile and I'll do the XL for that mile. I'll come back and I'll just put my old ghost on and see the difference in the jerkiness of it and then we can actually put this thing to bed about the jerkiness of the XL which I totally agree with but saying that Aaron my boy he's not as jerky as mine and I think it's all down to the suspension of this bike you know not having shocks on the front as such I feel this bike is a little bit more jerky at the front than my ZZR and I think I'd get a smoother vlog with the ZZR than I would this bike, but um, you know this is my main bike and this is the one I go to all the time. But I think with the XL, I think I might actually do a bit of a review or uh, my final thoughts. And I have got thoughts on it as well, you know. Like uh, I know that the XL is not just designed for motorbikes; it's de designed for all sport action things, you know, skiing and everything like that you know all these fast downhill stuff snowboarding you know and uh, it's not just aimed at us motorbike folk as they say but I think and I think this is the main thing with uh, drift I don't think for one minute they actually get in touch or try and get the thoughts of people who are going to use them you know what they want and how they're designed and I think if they got a little bit more intel from people who want to use them I think they'd make a better product that's what I think anyway you know because this XL is you know a good camera for, for what it costs you can't fault them for that but it has got some blaring design faults blaring 
and uh, you would have thought they would have ironed that out before they even went to production. And I think they'd need to ask people what they want. You know, what do they want? Where do they want the cables coming in? Where do they want the cables coming out? You know, and this sort of stuff. And I think they'd make a better product. They certainly do. Anyway, that's only me rattling on. I will do a video on that and I'll give my thoughts. I'll see if I can get my boy Aaron into it as well, because he's more technical than me. I can't do the technical side, he might be able to. But he's definitely pointed out to me some glaring faults with it, you know. Not with it's not how it works, but how it's set up. But anyway, let's go on to make something else. The other thing I've been thinking about is YouTube as well and what I'm finding is I'm not getting any that many notifications of some vloggers and, you know and I don't just watch motorbike vloggers I watch vaping vlogs camping vlogs even you know I, I love the ones where they're going out and seeing the wilderness and stuff like in America but I like all that stuff because all my life I've always wanted to know what was around the next corner I've always had that ambition to see what's over the horizon and I think a lot of bikers are like that maybe that's why we ride bikes so we've got that little bit of that explorer uh, adrenaline in us as they say but uh, yeah and uh, I've been noticing that I've been missing quite a bit and then I pick it up later and uh, starting to get on my nerves you two I must admit I don't know what they're trying to do to the channels I know they're purging, and I'm not trying to get into politics here, they're purging anybody who doesn't agree with them. If you don't agree with them uh, when it comes to politics, they will purge you, which is a sort of censorship really. That's all it is, it's a censorship. Well the point is, I think with all these major platforms and Google, I think now they've just got that little bit too powerful, a little bit too up themselves, thinking they're above the law, and I think they're uh, taking the piss basically. And uh, I think now is the time to maybe start regulating them, uh, or putting some sort of regulation on them, where they have to be fair and just with everybody and not just the people they like, which I must admit tend to be sort of lefty lefty snowflake types uh, and I think it's sad really but it's up to the people who are above us to reel them in and uh, take them to account I think that's my thoughts on that I don't know what yours are about Google well, I have to make a little bit of an announcement it's Mrs P's birthday today yes a birthday and uh, she's working yes yeah, working poor woman and I said what do you want me to do and uh, she said well I'm working you might as well go out on your bike with it because I you know with the with the boys and girls and I was like Are you sure it's your birthday and she said no just go out and enjoy yourself so I have to say happy birthday to my darling wife who I love dearly I really do love her and uh, thank you very much for letting me off the hook. <laughs> uh. And if you want to know why I call her Mrs. P, her name is Pauline. <laughs> That's her name. I've always called her, always called my wife <laughs> Mrs. P <laughs> or Paulino. I don't know why. We all have these silly little names for each other, don't we? <laughs> I've always called her. Paulino or Mrs. P ever since I've known her basically in fact I've got this little tattoo on my uh, on the top of my chest here and all it says is Paulino <laughs> yeah, it's Paulino so there you go oh looks like we're at the pub here we are, at the pub. <laughs> Have a look from over here.
go. I think this is going to be their new meeting place next spring. Berries and Edmunds crew. <laughs> going to be good. Right. See you in a bit. Here we are. It's the plough and a fleece. That's what, where we are. You can see there's quite a few. Nice to see a car park full of motorbikes. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a good place actually in the future. Nice little place to come out to on a nice summer's evening. Not too far. So that is the plow and fleece. Right, we're now off. Had a good day. Till then, mate. So, that was our little meet up at the Plough and Feast. Yeah, very successful, enjoyed that. That only leaves me to say, all right safe, love each other, Suffolk Andy!